more remote than I expected. So I'm happy about that. Well, I'll see you at the hip camp site. campsite. He's taking me. Hey everybody, this is Matt from Rubicon Mad Overland. Take a look at this hip campsite that I'm at. There's my tent on level ground, got my Jeep here, fire ring, nice little tables they, they provided, and look how secluded I am. I'm in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of nowhere. It is exciting to be out here tonight. This is my first time at this hip campsite and I hit a home run. I really did. And I'm going to go back over here to show you. See, it's not so easy to get back here. There's no other campsites around. You have to come up this steep hill and take a trail. That they had to, they, I followed them in my Jeep. They were in a ATV to, to get me up here. But how exciting is this? And this campsite is going to be a secret of mine because I love it, unless you guys can find it. But um, anyways, I'm going to get ready to cook dinner, but I want to show you something. You know, it was my birthday recently, and Father's Day is coming, so we combined them both. And look what my wife got me. A fridge. Can you see that? That is awesome. It's already, it's only, so it's 37 degrees, 38 now. But look at this thing. This changes the game, everybody. I got my dinner in here, and my breakfast, my eggs, some, some pop and some water. And I'm telling you, this, and she got the, uh, the bag that, that wraps around it just to help keep it more insulated. I got it hooked up to my Jackery back here. And the Jackery's barely running. I mean, it's at 98%. And I did have the Jackery plugged in and, and powered or charging along the way, but it, it's holding it's holding the temperature very well, especially with this bag. Now, let me tell you something. This refrigerator is only $242. Not the $800 that you, you hear. $242 in this, this um, tightly fitted, good insulated bag that goes around it is was another 60, I think 60, $65, which, which I believe it's worth it to keep it well insulated. So when the, my Jeep gets hot in the summer, sitting out in the sun, this site's perfect, it's in the shade. But um, isn't that cool? I'm so excited to try that tonight. I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm gonna get ready to make some uh, of stuff out of my refrigerator, you know, some pork chops, some zucchini and some rice and have myself a great meal here. Look at this. It's supposed to rain tonight, so I put my awning up. Um, so, anyways, that's it. Just wanted to give you an update, kind of give you a short little thing of what I'm doing. Maybe I'll show you um, a little bit of my cooking, and we'll keep going. What a great night. Look how far that hill is, and you can look over that cloud and everything. All I hear is the wind and birds right now. And it's cool. I'm actually going to have to put something on here soon. Well, God bless, and just wanted to share that with you. I love my fridge so far. Tonight, I'm going to have pork chops, zucchini, and rice. Quick meal. These are only $3.13 for some prime USDA, USA prime pork bone-in center cut chops. That's cheap with all the inflation going on. I tell you, it's crazy out there. Paid over five, well, I paid four ninety five per gallon, and, and it's um, really mid mid early mid mid june the oil's heating up i'm just going to dredge them oh those are big two of those babies i'll just put one back in my fridge because i have a fridge isn't that awesome I'm so excited man i'm gonna be full on those babies Put those in oil and I'll season them. A 
I do zucchini, put some oil on it, drop them in. I turn the pork chop. I like my pork chop cooked medium. Put a little more oil in there too. This off when I eat on this plate. Something to rice, too. my dinner it's about seven o'clock so i got another hour a couple hours of daylight after i eat i can do some reading and just take a look at this area where i'm at no i don't have plumbing out here but i do have a helio nemo love this what a great idea Works fantastic. Recommend it to everyone. I'm tucked away back in there. I don't know if you can see my orange tent. It's about eight o'clock. Just wanted to see if I could see the sunset. Here, there's that path that keeps going. I'll go swing around here again. There I am, tucked in there with all this beauty around me. I think I'm going to get this started pretty quick. I'm not using any fat wood tonight. I'm just going to try to use my birch bark. And I've fine, you know, fine pieces of it in there and kind of rubbed it in my hands to, to get the kind of the resin dust on there. So we'll see how many it takes. Starting to smoke a little bit, but nothing so far. Right, boy. Hmm. Shouldn't be damp. I think I got her. I didn't just put it out. Almost a little bit past nine. Time to have a fire. It's getting cool. I actually got another layer on, long sleeved, and put this jacket on. That's how cool it's getting. I don't have my thing with the temperature, but. Guy from hip camp gave me some pine wood. So I'm going to burn it up for him. He's a nice guy. Should catch very easily. Okay.
morning. Well, good morning. Getting in my fridge. 37 degrees. As you can see. And I'm really loving this thing. Going down there and get my bacon and my eggs. And it just maintains temperature. And the jackery doesn't really, the jackery was only at 87% this morning. So it's doing great. And that insulated bag around it really helps save the energy as well. Just to let you know. Got my bacon going. Still cool out even though the sun is above the tree now. Great morning out here. Good bacon grease. Cooking eggs and bacon grease. There's nothing better than that in the morning. Here's my breakfast. Got a fresh cup of coffee, refill, and some bacon and eggs. It's still cool out. Got my fire going. Some of my views at this campsite. Great place to hammock right there and right there. It's about 100 yards from my campsite. Look at that view. You can just see my Jeep windshield up there a little bit. It's been a great morning. Look, the sun's coming up behind a tree right now. I'll be in this full sun here in about a half hour. Got a fire going because it's 58 degrees. Um, it's a beautiful view. All the animals, I, lo I love the morning. The encouragement I want to talk through this morning or share is from Psalm 27, verse 1 only. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold, the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? From all that's going on in this world today and all the things that are happening, um, we've got to have a stronghold. And the Lord, make the Lord our stronghold. He, it's the truth. It's, it's the reality that there is a God. And that he did send his son down to the earth. Um, as it says in, in John 3, John 3, 17. He did not send his son to the world to condemn the world. He sent Jesus to save the world. He's a loving God. And I'm just sitting here just... You know, being loved by God and talking to Him, listening to what He has to say, and watching His creation and, and enjoying it. So I hope that was encouraging to you. Stand strong in the Lord, no matter what happens down here. And God bless. Ooh.